Ripples in space-time known as gravitational waves were first predicted by Albert Einstein in 1960, but they wouldn't be confirmed until 2015, when the U.S. National Science Foundation Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory detected the waves. We'll explore 10 years of gravity wave observations in the U.S. National Science Foundation's Discovery Files. First opened in 1999, the U.S. National Science Foundation Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or NSF LIGO, detected the waves created by the collision of black holes 1.3 million light years from Earth 10 years ago in 2015. This groundbreaking work earned the 2017 Nobel Prize in Physics for Rainer Weiss, Barry Barish, and Kip Thorne. If you want to see the birth of the universe, you can only see it with gravitational waves. It's a whole new way to explore the universe and to explore things that you can't see in any other manner. Since this first milestone, NSF LIGO has uncovered a series of extraordinary discoveries and turned the detection of once elusive gravitational waves into a weekly occurrence, identifying dozens of black hole merger events and opening a new window to the universe. Here's Dr. Thorne and what he hopes LIGO might confirm in the next 10 years. We see final black holes with larger spins when we get enough data that we do begin to see more of the gravitational waves coming from the violent part of the space-time storm than what we've been seeing. To hear more science and engineering news, listen to NSF's Discovery Files podcast.